Hello guys, it's a Gingernator, and today I have a special new series for you. Today's series is a tutorial series I'm going to call Modding for Your Mom. The idea behind it is I'm going to show you how to install mods for various games and to be simple enough that your mom, um, i.e. someone who has no technical experience, not tech savvy at all, can understand what is going on and how to do it. Today's mod is going to be for Star Wars Empire at War, the Clone Wars mod. It's not to be confused with Star Wars Republic at War. Those are two separate mods, and I'm going to show how to go ahead and download the Clone Wars mod. So first off, you're going to want to go to the website which you would download the mod from. The website I'm going to be doing it from is uh, moddatabase.com. Here you can see different information about the mod. I'm going to scroll down specifically um, to the latest downloads. What this is is the different versions of the mod that has been updated. So your prerequisites are going to be you're going to need a Steam account for the video game. I'll be doing this mod specifically for Steam. I didn't mention that earlier. You also need to buy the game Star Wars Empire at War and also the add-on Forces of Corruption. The mod works off of Forces of Corruption and it's necessary for this mod to work. The third prerequisite is to have an extracting program such as WinRAR. That's the one I'll be showing today. So, our first step is going to be going to the website. We're going to be going to the version 4, which is the latest version at this moment. And we're going to be downloading the mod itself. Um, and so, you're going to go to this page. You're going to go to down here. You're going to go down to mirrors. You're going to hit download now. There's going to be pop up that's going to come up. It's going to download the mod to your game, your PC, and it will be showing up on the bottom left-hand corner. There it is. Um, I have already downloaded the mod, so it already shows up. So I'm actually going to go cancel this mod, cancel the download, sorry. Um, and so then you're going to go to your downloads. You're going to have it in your downloads, and this is the one I'm showing right now, um, June 13th, mods.rar. It says that because I have WinRAR already installed. If you do not have installed, you're going to go to download.cnet.com slash winwar, um, blah, 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 blah. You can just type in literally uh, winwar, and it's a third choice for me. You're going to want to click this, and from there, you're going to want to click um, under winwar 64-bit. Um, you're going to hit download now. Be careful not to hit any advertisements or whatnot. Um, these both websites are very clean. You're not going to find any um, viruses on them or anything. But do be careful for advertisements. I haven't had any issues with it before, but just be careful. And if you're not convinced, th this total downloads is 22 million downloads for WinRAR. So you're going to go ahead and download it. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to go to your download page, which you go to, let's say, on Google Chrome. You're going to go to the tab on the right-hand side under the big X. You're going to go to your downloads, which is up here, and I have it open already. So you're going to go to your mods. Um, you're going to go hit the program, which you've downloaded, the actual name of it, and then you're going to, right now it's actually reading the files because I'm redoing this for you guys. You're going to extract your files to somewhere. Now where you extract them uh, doesn't particularly matter. You could do it directly to the game. I recommend not doing that if you don't understand what's going on. So what you've already downloaded is similar to a letter in real life. And when you're extracting it, you're opening up the letter and taking out the contents to be able to read it. So when you extract a file on a computer, you're basically taking out the contents from the computer and you're producing it in a readable format for the game. All right, so what I decided to do was to open this up um, you'll see the mods and the this, which is the file folder, um, which is in, so we'll click on this mod scheme. So from here, what you need to do is extract, extract the files. Um, you can decide where they go. I feel it's easier if you just go to your desktop. You can also save it to your hard drive. Um, you'll see this later. I decided to save to the desktop. I'm going to hit cancel because I've already done this before. All right, so here we're on the desktop. Um, I have my desktop fairly cluttered with items, but you're going to have the folder called Mods. When you open up the folder, you're going to see a, a name right here. Sorry, This name will become important later. This is your actual mods. 
This is the mod, the Clone Wars mod. Um, you can explore a little bit into it. This is how to download it via, if you have it on a disc. We are not doing it via disc, we have it on Steam, so that's not to be bothered. If you want to look into it, it's fine. It has a lot of credits and such from the editors, the producers of the mod, whatnot. Um, and so this is what we need. We're going to exit out of this. You're going to open up Steam. I have it as a desktop. You can also have it as a window. It doesn't particularly matter. I prefer to have it on Steam because I have all the downloads on my hard drive. And it makes it just a lot easier. So you're going to open it up. You're going to go here. All right, from here, you're going to be hitting Star Wars Empire at War with the right mouse button. You'll be going down to Properties. From here, um, it'll probably hit General first. You're going to want to go to of these tabs over to local files. You're going to hit browse local files. When you hit that, you're going to come to this page right here. So what you're seeing right now is all of these files down here are your actual game for Star Wars Empire at War. The top one is your mod, um, not your mod, sorry, your DLC, uh, Star Wars Forces of Corruption. So you're going to hit corruption, double click it. So here's his, here is your actual game and you're going to be inserting the mods file from earlier so let me go ahead and shrink this and uh, shrink this as well actually just do a close that and you're going to be dragging your mods over to the game files it's going to take a while depending on the computer how fast it'll be mine is quite fast uh, it doesn't particularly matter where this goes I like to have it up here um, doesn't want to move it there okay so it's staying down there so here is your mods here are your mods Okay, from here, you can go and close out whatever you want, blah, blah, blah. The last step that you need to do is go back to your Steam account, go to your game. You're going to be going to Properties. You're going to be going to Set Launch Options. From here, you're going to type this in verbatim, no spaces where there are not spaces here. Uh, there are no spaces before this text. It is Star Wars Forces of Corruption, just the initial letters of each of those um, words. Space in caps mod path equals mods slash star underscore wars underscore clone underscore wars um, underscore IV which stands for four in Roman numerals then you're going to hit OK this step is crucial your mod will not work if you did not do that step in particular what this means is that you have your files inside your hard drive already saved but they will not be accessed unless the set launch options are set. So your game will just look over them if your set launch options are not set to what I just said. Again, I'll put that in the description so you can see it and you can just copy paste it. It won't be any issues for this current uh, patch. If there is another patch, let's say, um, what is it, Star Wars, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Star Wars version 6 or 5, whatever it is. Um, then you'll need to type in whatever that is in Roman numerals. Um, to be a little bit more specific, you need to go to what it says right here in mods. Whatever this says, you'll need to type in. All right, from there, you should be able to run your game, and I'll go ahead and run my game and see if it works. All right, guys, so I went ahead and loaded up Star Wars Empire at War Forces of Corruption. If done correctly, you should see a... Um, a banner says Star Wars, a Clone Wars mod with like an orange background. It has a bunch of Star Wars characters there. You should see a series of cutscenes and then you'll go to the screen, which is this gameplay. Um, so if you have any issues on, along the way, if you do not get that, let's say you get a vanilla uh, Star Wars Forces of Corruption screen, then you've probably done something wrong in the process. My guess would be either you messed up the set launch options for the game um, when you go to set you know, set launch options, you maybe put a space where you shouldn't have or whatnot. Um, other common areas where you mess up in is downloading the wrong version. Let's say you downloaded version 3. Um, it will not work for my steps. Um, you'll need to type in um, version 3 for the set launch options instead of version 4 like it already is. Um, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you do enjoy the video, I'd like you to show it, um, whether by liking the video, commenting, um, sharing it with a friend, anything like that. If you would like to see a Let's Play of this 
this particular mod. I'll be doing it soon. I would like you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm a new YouTuber. I'm still getting used to editing videos and whatnot. So any kind of love you can show me, I would be very, very appreciative. All right. If hopefully this works, you'll be enjoying the mod, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.